Battery life is an emerging challenge for wireless VR headsets. We reduce VR display power consumption using a perceptually guided color modulation model. Here, we present an example run of our power optimization filter and how it is used in our evaluation study as it appears on a head-mounted display. Once the video starts, at the 5 second mark, the effect of the filter is gradually applied across the entire screen over the next 10 seconds. The area within 10 degrees of visual angle from the center of the participant's gaze is unchanged. 15 seconds into the video, our filter is fully applied, but the color shift is unnoticeable by majority of participants. We compare our model's results to the luminance-based filter result we described in our paper. The effects of the luminance-based filter are noticeable by a majority of participants. To ensure that our method works on a variety of different virtual environments, we handpicked six different scenes. In these scenes, we explore natural and synthetic, static and dynamic, bright and dark, as well as indoor and outdoor content. Please refer to our manuscript for the detailed experiment protocol as well as the user study results. The next video shows our pilot study process for measuring human color discriminative thresholds at different eccentricities. During a trial, the participant is presented with four discs in their peripheral vision. Three of the discs have the same color, while the last calibration disc is different. Their task was to identify the one which appeared different. The task is repeated over a sequence of staircase trials to converge on the threshold where the participant can barely discriminate between the reference and calibration discs. This video shows our physical power measurement process. By altering the displayed color, a significant amount of power consumption change can be observed. Thank you for watching. For more details about the experiments, please refer to our manuscript.